Holy fucking shit, you guys. <laughs> James Charles has come out with his 40 minute response video to all of this. And uh, before I get started with my opinion on any of this, I just want to say that even though these people have made their feud very, very public, um, it is none of our God damn business. Are you a personal close friend of Jeffree Star or James Charles or Tati Westbrook or any of these motherfucking people that have been talked about over the last like week and a half? Because if not, if you haven't been there, like we have no idea what the fuck is going on. We have like 17 different stories that are coming to us. Tati uploaded her video and James's motherfucking video. I mean, he provided receipts that nobody else seems to have come up with. Uh, they don't look fabricated to me. I am not saying that I am on James's side. I'm kind of on nobody's side because it's not my business, but I am a fan of watching dumpster fires and will participate in just putting my thoughts out there. It, they are just my opinions, like, I do not know these fucking people. I just really enjoy other people's drama. Um, I think a lot of really shitty things have come out of this and it definitely hurt James Car Charles' career. You know, he lost like 3 million fucking subscribers in two days. Tati is now like 10.6 million. Of course, now apparently, I haven't looked at the live things, but I've been looking at uh, tweets and comments and stuff and apparently James is gaining since his new video and Tati and Jeffrey are losing There's so much going on. By the way, I know that I look like I'm dressed like I'm going to church <laughs> I uh, I'm on my lunch break right now I don't even go to church, but I know this looks like a church ass outfit So in the middle of me watching James Charles's video, I got a notification from uh, Twitter that Jeffrey Star had tweeted um, about being careful what you believe or whatever after whatever said but I mean um those receipts in there with those messages from Jeffree Star were pretty damning I think it's definitely going to hurt Jeffree Star <laughs> like, I don't know if all of this was just a big ass conspiracy between all of them like uh if you haven't heard of Ant from Dighty, he's been blown up the last couple of days because people got a hold of his prediction. He's like a psychic tarot reader. He's really good. I've subscribed to his channel. I've been watching his stuff. It's really addicting to watch. But like he predicted the whole situation before it came out um, with Tati like exposing James. Now he didn't say that it was specifically going to be Tati. He just basically described the whole situation of what did happen. And then there was another reading where he said that uh, James is going to be vindicated and you know some stuff is going to come out about Tati. Um, but ultimately like James is going to be vindicated. And this video that he came out with like seems like it's going to be that way. Also Peter Mon apparently got uh, approached via direct message by some people that didn't want to be named about James Charles like possibly becoming a part of the fucking Illuminati because like part of the initiation is like a huge fall from grace and stuff like that. I don't know. He went more into detail about it. If the Illuminati thing is true, like, maybe they're all in on it and now, as far as uh, Gabriel Zamora and Nikita Dragon go, like, they're just two, like, bystanders that are inserting themselves in things that they don't need to be inserted in. I don't care for either of those people. I never have. But James Charles's video, I think, was very well said. I think he provided a lot of receipts. It seems like he got dragged through the fucking mud and this, like the whole story wasn't there. I wouldn't be surprised if there's tons of lawsuits that come out of this with all the defamatory stuff that has been said about James Charles. And oh man, I'm gonna continue to watch this fucking dumpster fire of a situation, but like 
regardless of what I think or regardless of what you think, none of us know what the fuck is really going on. Like that is, it is their situation. It probably should have been handled behind closed doors just between them, but they are public people and they live their lives on the internet and they decided to bring this public. So it is very entertaining to watch. Um, you know, I don't necessarily take pleasure in seeing people be exposed and have their downfall and whatever but i mean you gotta admit it's fucking entertaining as shit what the fuck is happening you guys like what the actual fuck i love watching the drama i do i i would be a liar if i said that i didn't enjoy the fucking drama but i just want to go back to like when people weren't problematic and like I'm just getting on YouTube to watch vlogs of people's lives, watch some people put on some makeup and talk to me and like none of this nasty back and forth, whatever. Raw Beauty Christy, thank God for her during all of this. She's provided me with so much relief where I can just go to her channel and watch her lovely fucking home remodel, watch her chit chat get ready with me and just have her be unproblematic. Her and Samantha Ravindel, thank God for them. Oh my God, also completely, Samantha Ravindel put out a video about the Diva Cup. And it is the funniest, most informational thing I have fucking ever seen in my life. And you should definitely watch that if you have a period because wow, she is queen. Yeah, that, uh, that about does it for this video. I don't have much of an opinion on the subject other than literally you guys, like good for you for gaining so many subscribers by you know, making all these videos about the fucking drama and inserting your opinion. You know, I'm happy for you and your growth, but like, this is none of our fucking business. Just sit back and watch the fucking dumpster fire happen. You don't have to like insert your opinion on whether you think James Charles is like the worst fucking person in the world or whether you think Tati shouldn't have exposed him. It done already fucking happened, all right? Just like enjoy the fucking ride. This is, I'm not like putting my opinion on the situation that's happening. I, I'm just trying to tell anybody out there that's gonna see this that is partaking in this drama to just You're allowed to have your opinions, but Jesus Christ, if you don't have the facts, like <laughs> the person who made up the story about uh, the situation that happened in the bathroom with James Charles and that kid or whatever, that was completely false. Like shit like that is why it is so hard for people to believe like victims and <sighs> Like, I don't understand how you, you can't see that. Just keep your nonsense to your fucking self. Enjoy the dumpster fire from afar. Don't roast marshmallows in the dumpster fire though because they're gonna taste like fucking trash. All right, that's my piece on it. Bye. <laughs>